Hello everyone, I'm back at the tarmac quarry to meet a special kind of truck, a dumper truck. Dumper trucks drive all around the quarry being very helpful. They work with their friends the excavators and the bulldozers to carry loose rock and sand out of the quarry. A dump truck is the perfect truck for safely carrying heavy loads. These are the wheels. The tyres are big and chunky so that they can grip onto most surfaces. This is the cab. And this is where the driver sits to drive the dumper. But it's the back of the dumper truck that's really special. This is called the hopper which is where the load is stored. Come on guys, let's load it up. The excavator digs the rock into a big pile. Then the empty dumper truck comes trundling down the hill, ready to pick up this big load. The driver then reverses next to the excavator, ready to be loaded up. The hopper can hold lots and lots and lots and lots of rock. This dumper can carry 35 tonnes. That's like carrying five elephants in the back. Whoa! Once filled, it's time to drive the load all the way to the top of the quarry and dump it in a big pile. The hopper has hydraulic rams underneath it which are really strong and make the hopper tip up. The back gate opens up and the load slides out of the back. I think I feel a song coming on. It takes real teamwork to keep the quarry moving safely. The dumpers, excavators and bulldozers all work together to move rock as quickly as possible. The bulldozer scoops up lots of sand in its huge bucket. He lifts it up and tips it neatly into the dumper truck's hopper. Sometimes it can get quite dusty in the quarry so the team here at Tarmac also have a special truck that sprays water along the floor. This helps get rid of the dust that builds up from the construction trucks. I've loved learning all about these amazing dumper trucks today. Thanks very much to all the team here at Tarmac for showing us what they can do. Coming up next, 
I visit a real rescue helicopter. Helicopters are used all over the world for transporting passengers. But the most important use for them is rescuing people from areas that are difficult to get to by land. I'm here at Her Majesty's Coast Guard base in North Wales to meet an amazing rescue helicopter and her crew. The helicopter behind me is used to rescue people in need from the sea or from the mountains. If someone hurts themselves on top of a mountain, it's impossible to get an ambulance up there, so the Coast Guard's called. A rescue can come any time of day or the middle of the night, and it sounds as if the crew have a rescue call coming in now. They all spring to action at once. First, they look at a map of the area to check for any dangers and work out the best route. Just look at this amazing tractor pulling the helicopter out of the hangar. Now it's time for the crew to put their special safety gear on. Everything has a purpose. This life-saving jacket will inflate so that the crew member floats in water. And it even has its own air supply, just in case they find themselves underwater and need to breathe fresh air. Then, it's out to the helicopter to fly! On board are pilot Mike, Captain Kate, John the winch operator and Tomo the winch man. It's Tomo's job to get lowered out of the helicopter to rescue someone on the ground. After a few safety checks, it's time for takeoff. This whole process, from call to flight, takes the crew under 15 minutes. Engine start! Look at how fast those rotors can turn. The rotors chop through the air and make everything around them very windy. Whoa! I can hardly stay on my feet! Red Mechanical! Let's use your super slow motion camera to see just how many times those rotors are turning. I love using Gecko Super Slow Mo, mainly because it just looks cool. But look, a helicopter's rotor blades can spin 10 times per second. Oh dear, are you okay, Red Mechanical? As the rotors spin faster, the helicopter lifts off the ground and flies into the air. Captain Kate controls the helicopter by pointing the rotor blades in the direction she wants the helicopter to fly. Today the crew are practicing their winching skills using a dummy instead of a real person. The pilot skillfully hover over the area just above where the dummy is. Tomo clips himself to the winch and John carefully lowers him down. Tomo would then check how poorly the person on the ground is before winching both of them back up to the helicopter safely. Nicely done team! Back at base the engineers are always on hand to make sure the helicopters are in the best working order and ready to fly. Safety is the most important thing and these engineers are the best in the business. It's a real team effort keeping these amazing helicopters flying and rescuing people in need. This is Tom and Kev. Tom's a pilot and Kev is a winch operator. They're going to give us a quick tour inside the helicopter. Welcome everyone to the S92 Search and Rescue Helicopter. First and foremost, very importantly, we've got two large winches here. 
And these winches have got two strops and the idea of this is we can lower these down to people in the water or on a mountain and pick them up and take them to safety. So let's look inside now in the aircraft itself. And as you can see as you come into this helicopter, it's a large space. Here we've got a camera which we use when we're searching for people. This can pick up people on the water, on the mountainside. So when we've picked up our patient, which we've taken off the hoist, we bring them into, into the aircraft itself and we can put them onto this, our stretcher. And they may well be in the stretcher, but this is a lovely area for us to work on them and make them feel comfortable in the aircraft and we can give them medical treatment if they require it. Once we get to the hospital, we need to get our patient out of the aircraft safely and the best way we can do that is we lead them and lift them off here down through the ramp itself off the aircraft into the hospital where they can be looked after. Okay this is the cockpit of the helicopter there are two pilots one sits here in this chair and the other one sits on the other side these are the controls to fly the helicopter this one moves the helicopter forwards and backwards and this one moves it up and down and then there's two pedals down on the floor as well and that keeps the helicopter straight. We've got two engines and they're controlled on these screens and then we've got a map in the middle to see where we're going. Thanks very much to the amazing team here at the Coast Guard base. If you loved learning about this incredible helicopter as much as I did, you can subscribe to the Toddler Fun Learning channel by tapping here and watch more videos from me by tapping here. Bye!